Good morning, guys. Rick Shaw here on the 25th of February 2022, and we got a beautiful sunrise this morning. Looks like we're gonna have pretty nice skies today. It's kind of nice. I was out early this morning, about three or so, went for a big walk with the pup, and uh, boy, I couldn't believe the beautiful. It lost so many stars in the southern sky. They were just bright as can be. And I think over towards the southeast, there was a, a planet. It was just like super bright. And uh, we had a crescent moon, not smiling, kind of sideways, straight up. So just, just a beautiful, beautiful morning. And then I got back and I was still itching. So our, our buddy Mark is going to come. He's going to ride his Harley over this weekend. And I uh, said, so, oh man, I wanted to get out for a ride. So I, I took a took a nice motorcycle ride this morning. Uh, just just buzzed around, buzzed around through town. You know, with no traffic, it's kind of nice. So that was good. Still don't have water upstairs. Uh, this, I guess this is their fix. You know, I don't get it. They put speed bumps in. I went in to ask them about that. And she says, well, the homeowners association said to do it. Well, I'm a homeowner and they never came to me. They sent some people around asking what we thought of it, and there was a bunch of us down here didn't want it. So we weren't invited to the vote. <laughs> this is just how they do things here. So they jam, and these speed bumps they put in on the main drag coming in here, they're not the mild speed bumps. These are the five, you've got to come to a dead stop. And these people with low cars, they're going to have to go over them sideways. You know, you see a lot of these little cars, they go sideways over them because they're so steep. And uh, they're getting ready to put another one up. <laughs> you know, they're just going to start jamming these things in here. You know how it is here in the Philippines. One person gets a speed bump. Everybody's got to get one. But, but let's, I'll tell you what. Stuff going on in the news with this attack in Ukraine. You know, I, I look at this and I look at the people who are against it. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. She ain't for it. Macron from France, he ain't for it. Boris Johnson, he ain't for it. Justin Trudeau, NATO. <laughs> these are all the these are all these uh they're hiding something guys. They don't want they don't want something coming to light over there in Ukraine. You know, they got a lot of these uh bio labs over there that the US is funding. You know, and uh it looks to me, I'm seeing stuff where the people are want, wanting to be freed from the what Putin calls the junta. Well, you look up what junta is. That's uh, that's somebody who took over by military force. So, you know, I personally think that's that's their territory. If somebody came in and was going to start doing things, from what I'm seeing is they want to make Ukraine part of NATO, and then they could jam some nukes over there, maybe. You know, I'm not sure. But hey, <laughs> I'd be, I'd be throwing a throwing a bitch if they were putting them up on the, on our borders, like in Mexico and in Canada, just like they did in Cuba a long time ago. So now, <laughs> no. So you know, we'll see how this plays out. But I'll be honest with you, if this if Biden gets in there, who and Obama's running the show, guys. If uh, they start something over there with him gonna get big and I can see China jumping in and Taiwan they're already sending jets over Taiwan right now in their airspace so you know this, this could turn into World War three big time you know and that's it's all written it's all written in our owners manual so but uh, what a bummer it's just the way it's you know it's not much we can do about it talk about it I guess but uh, what a mess what a mess going on but uh, I don't know. I look at this Trudeau. He came up and said, oh, you know, we're stopping this thing we're doing up here now because we got them all out. But you know what? He's uh, with this World Economic Forum. There's a whole bunch of countries in on this. Just a mess. It's, it's just turned into a big cluster P-H-U-C-K. Just a mess. But... That's the way. That's the way we're going right now, and uh, it's a real shame. That's that's all I got to say. I want to do some stuff where we're getting out. We got uh, next week is going to be the new month. We'll get out. We'll have you a nice, maybe a resort 
do a couple more stores that were showing. You know, we were just going by a store and my kids were saying, oh, you should go do one in that store. And I, I, was, in the, I was in this pure gold around here. It's grubby. Yeah, the floors are dirty. It's kind of grubby. Uh, they don't have a lot of, you know, it's a Filipino store, basically. And uh, I'll, I'll do it, I guess. I'll do one. Just walk through and do a little thing so you guys can see what you get here. But there's, there's some stores around here like the Super 8s and stuff. They're low-budget Filipino stores, and they're low-budget because they don't spend no time making the store nice, guys. Uh, they're, they're not... You know, they're they're like a the little old slum markets that you see in the in the states with cockroaches running around and all that kind of crap. But we're having a beautiful morning. I'm really liking this. I got the uh, just getting in the house it's up early, feeling a little bit better with the back. It was pretty sore last night, but got it cracked and uh, just trying to keep getting around. Got the got the kitchen all cleaned up. Gonna gonna clean the outside. Uh, you know, there's so much dust and debris that blows in behind the deep freezer. I'm just gonna pull everything out, pressure wash it, and just try to clean it up as best I can. It's not going to be uh, better here for the dust. We, my wife and I, we we took the whole living room and dining room apart yesterday. Moved everything out of the way, cleaned it, and. Uh, we're like Australia with the bunnies, <laughs> you know. I saw a thing years ago that Australia was overrun with bunny rabbits. They brought them in to kill the grass, and then, of course, you know how rabbits breed. Well, we got dust bunnies, big time. So, you know, we were having to vacuum just the stuff all stuck to the bottom of the couch. and That's the way it's, that's just the way it's going to be until they get all these houses done. You can see, I mean... Just since I first got here, look at all the stuff going up, and I'm glad to see them built. I just hope that uh, they do something with this water. You know, it's it's not much I can do about it. You know, just just not much I can do. Uh, I go I go to talk to them. You know, I would have liked to talk to them about these speed bumps. And uh, from what from what I'm understanding from talking to one neighbor, we had one. Uh, there's a fella up on the main drag there, and he's got a little girl, nice, nice kids. I mean, he seems like a hell of a nice fella. He's got one of them uh, CS Moto 400s, nice bike, and it's just him and his wife seem like nice folks. Well, one of these guys that worked here went by his house too fast, so he complained to the association. He wants speed bumps. Of course, they never asked me about it. Boom! He got a speed bump. <laughs> They got these stupid speed bumps in here now. One of the things when I first moved here, when we first came to look at this, before we ever decided to buy a house or anything, the very first thing we were driving in here with the salesman was like, wow, no speed bumps. I dig it. You know, because the last place we lived had speed bumps. It was just ridiculous. And now we, now we got big nasty ones and it's, it's just a real shame one guy does something he ain't even gonna be here he's got this guy is gonna move on why didn't they go talk to him why didn't they say hey don't do that again and if he did it again then get the get the people to fire him you can't come in here no more the security guard stop him you can't come in here we had a guy in here uh, in a truck delivery truck and at the end of the day, he was flying out of here in a truck. And I stopped him. I jumped on the bike. I, I zipped around and I stopped him. Hey, don't do that in here. Oh, I'm so sorry. And guess what? He waves all the time when he sees me and he comes in here very mellow. He doesn't drive fast anymore. Another guy that was driving too fast in here, I asked the security guards to stop him. I couldn't get him. They stopped him at the gate and said no. You do that again, you're not going to be allowed to do deliveries in here. So that's how you take care of this. What I'm not understanding is this guy is going to not be working here before you know it. He'll be he'll move on to somewhere else. And we got to suffer. All of us that live here have to suffer for the rest of our days with these stinking speed bumps. 
because because of some guy who ain't even gonna be here this is the mentality that you're gonna find and it's not just here it's in my own country it's like blaming blaming an inanimate object like guns for problems it's the people that's the problem so I, I don't get it here but that's that's what they did here uh, I'm a member of this homeowner association and nothing I they, they don't want me to say anything they don't want me to count I would have loved to went up and told all the people hey why should we suffer because of some guy kick him out but no that's just not what they do it's, it's a little bit aggravating but this is what I'm running into here I, I honestly be honest I wish Demeter Land would just buy this stupid house back from me and I could get the hell out of here I don't like the way things are going I don't think they're ever going to fix the water you know I'm just just the mentality I'm having right now because no matter what we do this guy who lives in the, uh, this house right here he's one of the first ones in here he's been complaining since the beginning they're not they're not doing anything what do they care and all these new houses that are going up oh, uh, I just throw my hands up in the air because there's nothing and everybody says oh good lord do blah 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 blah, blah. And they, they the stuff you do anything with a lawyer here in this country it's going to cost your fortune and you're going to pay and pay and pay and guess what in the end they're going to get away with it or they just don't show up you know i know some of the people here have been doing that already and the people who run it don't show up so and this this dang association uh, to me i'm a homeowner i should be involved in the association i'm not they don't want me there because I'm going to say something to guess what they want to do. I don't understand. I've been complaining about the water since May. And they do nothing. But one Filipino complains of a speeder and boom, we got speed bumps out the ass here already. There's two of them going up and more. So this is just what you're going to get as a foreigner coming here. You're not going to get uh, what you might call justice. Uh, because you know we're just a bunch of big damn complainer troublemakers is is what they think I believe and they're all oh we're so sorry I went up and talked to the lady I said how comes I wasn't invited to this meeting that you had where people voted the homeowners voted on speed bumps I wasn't there oh sorry oh we're so sorry so my voice in this homeowners association doesn't count and and learn that just know it when you come here when it comes to these homeowners associations if you're a foreigner uh, they don't care they don't want to, they don't want to hear your voice they didn't want to hear my wife's voice because she's tainted by a foreigner <laughs> is what i'm seeing so that's a real bummer but that's how she goes that's how she goes in these places and uh you know know that when you come in make sure if you come to a place uh, I wouldn't even uh, wouldn't even think anymore of being in one of these I like this development because there was no speed bumps there was one way in and out seemed very secure but uh, you know I'm, I'm disillusioned now with with all the crap that's going on with this with this whole with the whole deal going on here so that's just where I'm at right now gonna gonna get all this cleaned out you wouldn't believe back behind my deep freezer how nasty it is back there and all the dust so today all, everything's coming out i'm gonna pressure washer my little buddy he decided to draw on the ground here he kind of he kind of painted my motorcycle for me i got a really nice he gave me a nice paint job on my fender that's pretty cool <laughs> that's my little geronimo little pickle but uh it is i have to say it's a beautiful day and uh i love the warm weather we got here it, it was uh real nice even when i was riding the bike i had a very light jacket on and uh zipped up around through town i don't i don't go crazy fast or nothing just putt around you know and when cars are coming up behind me they're going to work i know that i just get out of the way let them pass i'm not in any big hurry and it seems like the traffic's not too bad we went up to uh uh, S S and M, and then we stopped and got something to eat on the way home. And uh, I was even telling my wife, "Wow, 
there was hardly any traffic at all. Us going all the way over to SM, we, we breezed over there pretty quick. Coming back, we ran into a tiny little bit, not too bad. And then we stopped up at our, our new uh, mom and pop restaurant we found here. Um, Faye was saying, oh, you want to stop here or there, this different place? Nah, let's go to that one because we know, we know they got really good food. And uh, let's go there. So we all had plenty to eat for, uh, it was like 12 bucks. And uh, so we like that place. We'll, we'll definitely be going back there again. The kitchen's real clean. Uh, the people are super nice in there, real nice. And I think next time I go, I'll pull the car into the car wash, and while they're washing the car, I'll get something or other good to eat because uh, we're definitely going back there. But I'm going to go ahead and let you go. It's a beautiful February morning. I know a lot of people in the States are freezing their buns off. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, that little kitty's on the attack. There's a little baby kitty. Look at that. Nice color on that kitty. I sure do like our little shakes. She was, a, she was my good walking buddy uh, with me this morning. And the sad thing is when we do our, our big walks, some of the dogs that are around here, they, they know us, so they don't bark at us anymore, but we got one down here that just, man, he's loud. I try to go around it. I try to go around that house so he doesn't bark so much, but way before we ever got there, he started barking. Of course, we got our chickens. <laughs> it's loud. If you come to the Philippines, just get it through. Get it through your head. It's going to be loud here. You know, look at these chickens going. They've been going all night. When I was walking at uh, uh, three, three thirty, they were crowing like crazy. I thought chickens were supposed to crow when the sun comes up, but not Filipino chickens. So, this is Rickshaw out.